Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I will be reviewing the Le Pliage Club in Hawthorn. This is a medium size bag and it has a long handle over here. But before I get started, I do have another video on my Le Pliage short handle bag up in the channel and if you haven't seen that do check it out like and subscribe if you like this kind of content and i will be comparing between this two in terms of the sizes as well as how practical it is to have a short handle or a long handle but for now let's get into what's in my bag so this is how it looks like in the front. This is a medium size bag with long handled. There is a blue stitch logo over here. And it has matching leather and blue button as well. And the handle is a long handle with matching leather as well. And at the side. I did get it in the silver finishing and as you can see here, over here is silver and silver and this is how the back looks like. I love how the colors are so seamless and it was quite hard for me to find youtube videos on this particular color so if you are looking into this hot on i say for sure get it it's so beautiful and it matches everything so easily but um over here i have a hello kitty keychain that i got from universal studio singapore i really like it now let's open it up So this is how it looks like an overview. I do use it as my everyday bag, so I don't carry my laptop in here. But let's see what's inside. So it does have a deep pocket over here, which is a bit different from the Le Pliage short handle, where the pocket is a bit smaller, but this is a deep pocket. And as per usual, a big, space for everything and the inside is this brown color and the pockets are matching with the outside so let's get started with this side first um, I do have my pairs over here D is my initial and I just have some cards and some cash and then I do have a Vaseline over here, the original one, and I carry this lipstick by Maybelline in 70, and it's transfer proof, so I really like it. And it's a shade of beautiful color. Well, it's the same as the package, but I like it because I don't have to rewear my lipstick after dinner. I usually have a packet of tissue, but now I have a loose uh, tissue. Um, I have my glasses cloth. And then I carry my wire earphones, you know, just in case if the Bluetooth one doesn't work. And honestly, I prefer this one because you don't have to charge it. So that part is empty. And then over here, I have two moths, just in case, for my husband and myself. Um, I am currently traveling right now, so I have a wet, a packet of wet wipes. And I always carry my iPad. This is my iPad. I believe it's an iPad 8 over here and I like to add some stickers that I receive from my friends so I really like it and 
I bring my long charger for emergencies and I just want to show you my cute setup over here I have Sailor Moon over here and over here as well mm -hmm. I really like it and then um, I usually would have my phone in here but I'm currently using it so I have this cute pink case and this is a camera case the camera that I'm currently using it's a DJI Pocket 2 I just got it and I'm really excited to play around with it and last but not least is my makeup bag so in here just a quick one this is how it looks like I have my hand cream I have my magnetic lashes. It's all clogged up right now, but it's so easy because you don't have to remove it with makeup remover. This is um, what I use to apply it. I have my Bluetooth earphones, a pocket mirror. and some bits and bobs I do have some pens, some lip liner, concealer and some samples I like to bring samples when I'm traveling because I'm more open to use things that are not in my usual routine so let's put everything inside again see how it looks like so let me put back my iPad oh. should have put all the things in here first that's okay over here, over here over here over here like so like that my mask makeup wipe. I do like what's in my bags video to be a little bit less edited because I like to see how the bags look like in natural state. Like I want to see as much as I can in its natural flow. So I like to do my what's in my bag video less edited so that you can see how it looks like in real life. And then my camera and my phone and then last but not least my charger and I still have a big chunk of space in here so I can I usually would put in my bottle as well I believe it's around 480 ml and I would just put in here and then I get my perfume maybe put it in here another bottle of water in here and there's still a lot of space in here okay so now let me just zip it up and this is how it looks like Okay guys, so that like is so. what I put in my bag and I have to say that it fits quite a lot and it's perfect for everyday use because of the long handle so you can always have your arm or hands free. And I just want to do a quick comparison between these two. Um, I do think that the large size is more suitable for work because I can put my laptop and I still have a lot of spaces to put my other things whereas if I put my laptop and I and I'm talking about like 13 inch 14 inch laptop it fits in here but I wouldn't have much space to put other things if you guys would like me to demonstrate that in another video do let me know but one thing that I like the most about this bag is the long handle Okay, so I am coming from a short-handed Lee Play Arch bag, so I greatly appreciate 
how this allows me to have my hands and arms free. Where is this one? I do sometimes put this over my shoulder, like how I would use a long handle bag. But, um, you know, eventually it does hurt my arm because of the small area here. But, yeah, that is what I put in my bag and my some of my thoughts on the large versus medium and short handle versus long handle. So do let me know if you want me to compare and actually put stuff inside. Um, and I hope you guys like it. Bye. Like and subscribe.